Welcome back. Today we're looking after this air compressor. It takes longer and longer and longer to fill the tank. Uh, I think either the reed valves or the piston has a problem. We did a service a while ago and found the the conrod has some wear. This thing is 10 years old and pretty heavy used actually. It's a cheapo 50 litre, don't know, two horsepower or so. Um, I got a bigger one, but the problem is the large one is not really portable, so I like to have something portable. So let's take it apart, take the cover off here, and take the cylinder head off and look how, how the reed valves look like. They're probably just dirty or worn. We'll come back when we have to plug the stuff off. So a simple test is you just hold your hand carefully and turn it by hand and if it's losing pressure on, on the intake uh, you either got a reed valve problem <coughs> or there is so much wear on the piston and the bore that this thing is just worn. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of hours. I can't tell you how many but pretty much every day I was in the shop this thing was running and uh, I used, I did a lot of sandblasting and plasma cutting and things like that so yeah it's had its fair share and uh, it's a hobby machine yeah well it's rubbish <laughs> what do you expect from a Chinese 100 pound or 120 dollar or 140 dollar compressor all right uh, I can tell if I if I put my hand on on the intake and turn it until I feel it's sucking and wait a little bit the pressure disappears so we take the cylinder head off and check how the reed valves look like. Well, it looks better than expected actually. The, the cylinder looks good. There's a bit of debris on top. But the biggest problem is that the reed valve isn't sailing anymore. So this is the intake reed valve and it just sits here on that hole. So it just sits here on that hole and you can see there's quite a bit of dirt. Yeah, if we clean that, maybe lap it a little bit, it's probably okay because everything else looks fine. Obviously get rid of the debris. Yeah, give that a, a nice lap and it should be just fine. This is just corrosion and dirt. Uh, because if you if I hold my hand on the piston and turn the turn the wheel, uh, it holds the pressure. So the problem is the cylinder head. The outlet reed is fine, there's no problem with that. It's just the intake reel, uh, just the intake reed needs a bit of rework. It's not cracked. No? no, it doesn't look it doesn't look cracked. It's just dirty. So all it needs is a good clean and then we're probably good to go. Let's try that. So we gave it a decent clean and there's still a mark visible. I don't know if it's visible here. You can see the port the intake port is visible so we just flip it around if that gives us another 10 years of service we're happy with that we scrape that clean so everything is fine and we go if we go for the new surface this is smooth as silk the other side looks a bit bent but this is sucking almost here so just put that back. We, we, we clean the piston as well. So, put a little bit of oil in the cylinder and uh, refit it, give it a try and see what happens. Let me oil the cylinder up and then we'll just put it back as it is. When you put it back together, make sure there's no debris 
there's absolutely no debris on the surface. Obviously also make sure you're gonna have the pins here. Here you go. So put the bolts back in. Screw it down and give it a try. Let me put the bolts in. Don't need to show that, it's just wrenching. We'll be back. So everything back together, tightened up. Let's see what it does. The drain plug is open. It doesn't help when the drain is open. Okay. Try it again. It's not too bad. It's a bit better because before it took 10 minutes or so. It's probably about four minutes and it's full. So it's pumping a lot better now. Um, there is a bit of blow by. The piston has some wear. But what do you expect from a cheap old compressor? Alright, let's put the plastic cover back on. I think we call it a successful rep repair with what we have. If you can fix it with flipping around a, uh, a reed valve to get a little bit more life out of it, it's probably okay. Again, this thing is 10 years old at least and uh, it served me well. Right, let's put the plastic cover back on the air filter and uh, give it another spin and then we're good to go. Alright, everything back together. Sorry, it's a bit sunny. Uh, sounds alright to me. I'll see how it performs for me. Draw a little bit more air. While I was running the the Isole, and it was constantly turning on. That's gonna come at some point because we made a major step forward on the Isole. Uh, made a new hydraulic cylinder for it. Yeah, that's gonna come soon. All right, uh, we called it good. It's working. Ah, it's working better. It's not as new because there is blow by. But what do we expect from a compressor which is end of life? Alright, that's it from this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.